What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Ellis Serra254. Me, you tune in for another one. Uh, this video is a little bit different. Uh, I have been seeing this product go around, and I was curious as to I don't know how they work. Well, not necessarily how it worked, but you know, maybe the quality of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so what I did I purchased a pair uh, and then we're gonna unbox them I'm wearing to work let's I'll just show you what we got all right so as you can see these are the infamous So these are the infamous so-so shoes. You know what I'm saying? Just so-so, just do it, Nike knockoff joints. Uh, like I said, I was curious of the quality of them. Uh, so what I did, I popped a pair off of Amazon. Um, I wanna see if they come. You know, I ain't really, uh, I'm more so in the garage a lot of times. I was on my feet at work, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily gonna wear my brand name, Nikes or my custom YouTube shoes I had made to work or nothing like that, or in the garage. So, you know, maybe I'll find something that was, you know, a little bit stylish, um, but most important, comfortable, especially when you're on your feet all day. So, go ahead and open the box. Uh, of course, I chose my favorite colors red and black Mine. So, yeah. so I mean I really can't tell you nothing by looking at the shoe uh, however um, I mean, it looks to be decently made I apologize for the light. I'm up, in, I'm, I'm up in the man cave. Um, so, I mean, there's not much cushion down here. I mean, that's kind of thin. But, I mean, I guess this right here is actually the, where the cushion is at. So, whatever. So, I am going to wear these to work today. Where I will be pulling an eight hour shift. Um, and then when I get back home this evening, or tonight actually, I will let y'all know uh, how, how they felt, how they did, how they fared. Um, if they have good work shoe, I'll probably just wear them for work for the most part. Um, shit, if they comfortable enough or whatever, shit, they could even be a garage shoe. You know what I'm saying? But what made me really go ahead and pull the trigger, uh, 78 Chevy Boy, I know y'all know who he is. His old lady got some, and she was saying how comfortable they was or whatever. But he didn't want her to go out at them because, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was saying, it's, it's, it's the brand, you know what I'm saying? So, me, I don't really care. I'm only really comfortable, and that's what matters the most. So, I will let y'all know after an eight hour shift uh, what I think about them. Just so so shoe. Uh, after one day, I mean, don't get me wrong, he bitch is comfortable and full. Um, however, had some technical difficulties on this shoe. 
uh, the the uh, sole kind of started separating there. So I took some Gorilla Glue and I uh, glued it back up. Uh, it happened on the right shoe, but not the left shoe. I don't know. Maybe it's like a hit or miss on that shoe. But uh, it is a comfortable shoe though. It is a comfortable shoe, so. I guess we're gonna give it another shot. This will be day two. Uh, I don't know if I don't let that cure enough, but it should be enough. So, we'll give it another shot. Let's see. Uh, see what they on. See what they gonna do. But yeah, after one, just one day in heel separation, yeah, these bitches here is just so-so. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, LSRI254, man. Tune in for another one. Uh, for the time, I guess, try to move around, get some stuff done, maybe pull the cars out, go somewhere, running through a car wash, I don't know. Uh, I was... I was currently in the process of cutting my grass and then I stopped. Well, see, I started over there and then I stopped over there. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and try to knock that out. Well, it ain't much more that's left. Um, get this trash about the yard. I was saying, you know, chore, chore honeydew type shit. So. Let me get this knocked out and then I'll cut y'all back on. Little dog barking and shit. Shut the fuck up. Alright, so got the yard taken care of. Gotta go back. Get a couple things that we need, but don't look like a jungle back here no more. I was actually thinking about firing up the grill. Been in the garage so much. Uh, this is one thing that I may have to put in some work or some effort to try to bring back the life. This shit is damn rusty shit. I rested in place. I sprayed some WD 40 on it. I need to get that inside too. That speaker box I need to get rid of. <clears throat> yeah, I'm 40 on that. I'm gonna loosen up. Probably what I'm gonna do. Excuse me. I'm gonna say that down. Same paint that we use for the same paint that we use for the engine. If I got some black, I'm gonna use that. And just kind of bring it back to life a little bit. We got a collection of stock wheels here. This stuff on here, I need to get rid of. Probably get it all the way. Of course, keep the oil. I need a Kelly converter, fan shrouds, water pump, like all this shit I don't need. We done building, baby. We done building. We got all the keys outside today. C10. I'm just tinkering with some stuff here. She looking good though. Side mirrors on, marker lights on. We got still little bumpers. Front and rear. And she gonna pretty much be good to go. I just, like I said, we are, I do plan on lowering it, but 
no no kid in mind yet no specific date yet uh, and we're gonna get her finished we got the box Chevy we got the cut here so I'm probably gonna get ready to move the cutlass over there in that spot. I'm gonna have to move everything around though. So pull the box heavy out. It'll be right here in the number one spot. And the cutlass. I'll move over here. And uh, go from there. Alright, so. This right here is what I was talking about, the rust barrier, rust, pre the rust preventative coating. Um, I don't know if that's gonna work though, cause that is, that gets a lot of heat. So we probably need like some engine temp paint on it. It's the only thing I have in black. So we'll have to see. But right now I'm just trying to see if I can get this damn dough to move. It's moving. I don't even know if I'm gonna do all of that. Uh, I ain't gonna finna pull it over here and put it on the side. Uh, I think I'm gonna go get some bricks. I'm like Home Depot. And, uh, that way uh, we can get that done. I'm gonna push like some bricks down and then set the grills on top of the bricks. Let me get this move and cut it back on. The music cars me in the box shop and the charts. I want the charger, didn't say nothing. I put the cutlass over here. New addition that we do got for the cutlass. And here you got the cutlass legal. Take out these old Oklahoma plates. Yes, sir. Fresh, fresh set of plates for the cut down. So, uh, they tag or whatever. I just got the regular tag for now. Uh, when I got to renew it, I'll probably put the antiques on it like I did that one. That way it'd be antiques. Antique dirt. Antique dirt. Like I said, the only, the only difference in Texas is you don't have to have an inspection. But you can only drop like how our shows meets, etc. etc. So being that we still kind of dialing this one in, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and get everything we need to. Hold on. Oh, that almost there was a little screw almost messed up and punctured the brand new tire. Pretty, pretty cool G, but pretty cool G body. <laughs> I think the lady at the tag office said pretty cool guy or something like that. But yeah, pretty cool G body. Get this 
back tag put on for the front tag. I'm gonna have to find the uh, I'm gonna have to get some mountain hardware. Well, actually, no, it's there. Yeah, I just had to get the screws from work. I had to screw it down off in there. Or, I don't know. Uh, this is all cracked up and stuff, man. I might just have to go with the plate to the, the plate to the thing. I don't know if it's in yet, but. All right, so we got the tag put on. This is officially in Texas now, Texas place. I kind of like the blue, it had a little color to it. But, and it is what it is. Anyway, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and go buy this grill a little bit. So, we go to the store.